And now on the line, we have George from Seattle. Thank you for joining us tonight, George. Sure. Uh, yeah, thanks for having me. George, you were saying you've been having some lady troubles. Okay. Um, well, not troubles, per se. Oh? I met this girl a couple weeks ago. Ah, oh, the trappings of young love. Um, I'm 37. The trappings of early middle-aged love, then. Sure. Anyway, I met this girl. I think she's a little too young for me. And how young is that? Well, she won't tell me. But maybe 25, 26. George, my boy, that age difference matters not if you two really care for each other. What's your relationship like so far? Well, that's the real problem. It's just kind of too good to be true. How so? Here's the thing. I met her just a couple weeks ago. She was sitting at the original Starbucks on Pike's Place. And you can guess how hard it is to get a seat at that joint. And she had this gorgeous, long fur coat draped over her seat. I'm talking the most silky brown fur coat you've ever seen. And I'm admiring it as I walk by, right? It's not a coat you see every day. She's reading. Doesn't give me the time of day. She's way out of my league. And as I walk by, I accidentally bump her coat. Well, the thing's so gorgeous, I instinctively go to catch it before it hits the wet cement. Seattle, you know? And then I'm holding it, and she gives me this look, like I just saved a baby or something. And we've been attached at the hip ever since. She's, she's crazy about me. She's crazy about you, huh? Seriously. She basically acts like... Like what, George? Like we're married. Hmm, that's got to be a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> well, it was at first. But now, uh, it's awesome. <laughs> She's freaking hot and smart and fun. And I just, uh, but it just feels wrong. Like, why would a girl like that want to go out with a guy like me? George, I'm sure you have some admirable qualities. I'm not hot or smart, and I'm only a little fun. Hmm, that's quite an honest assessment. I don't know. I'm worried I'm missing something. Like, what if she's fooling me or something? Are you a very wealthy man, George? No, ma'am. She's got more money than me. Always paying for stuff. Says she has stock in the fish sellers at the market. I see. Uh, well, do you find yourself caring for this woman? I do, ma'am. That's why I'm feeling so worried. It just feels like... a con? Tell me, George, do you find your girlfriend often gazing longingly out into the sea? Well, now that you mention it, yeah. She gets this trance-like stare when we're at the market. And she eats raw fish, like, basically all the time. A sushi fan? No, not sushi. Really raw. She just bites down at the fish market. The fish sellers don't mind, though. Like I said, she's got stock. Uh, so you're saying while you're walking along Pike Place Market, you come to the fish booth, dead fish, piled in ice, she just picks up her favorite halibut and starts eating? Well, no. Not just halibut. Salmon, crab, I mean, that gets a little crunchy, <laughs> you know. She says it's part of her keto diet. George, I hate to break it to you, but that's not a keto diet. <laughs> It's not. George, are you familiar with the legend of the Selkie? The what now? Selkies. Creatures of Celtic origin who have the ability to turn into a seal. Or one could say they're seals who have the ability to turn into humans. The what now? I actually knew a Selkie in college. She was always trying to give me her fur coat, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, I really don't. Right. Uh, yes, well, in Selkie culture, they shed their seal skin to become human. Picking up that seal skin is often akin to what we would consider marriage. Wait. So my girlfriend is half seal. So it would seem. 
And when you picked up her fur coat... That's... fantastic! I beg your pardon? Well, that means it's not a con, right? She's actually into me. She's not going to just abandon me when she gets bored. Well, to be clear, I would recommend keeping her away from the shore if you ever notice she's feeling restless. Uh, Selkies are known to be flighty, but it sounds like you do have a woman, a uh, half-woman, who really cares about you. Congratulations, George. <laughs> Thank you so much, ma'am. Wow. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. So it would seem, George. So it would seem. Have a wonderful night.